Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. Hope you're all having a good day. It is currently 3.30 in the morning and I'm at the airport. Hopefully you can hear me. And uh, we're checking in. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone and we are here in Virginia. Behind me is my backyard. It's kind of like a circle of pine trees. And here is one of my mom's bird feeders or hummingbird feeders and I have seen uh, three or four hummingbirds uh, you know feed on this bird feeder and my mom puts oh sugar water sorry I thought a hummingbird was coming towards me my mom puts sugar water in here it's sterilized very interesting she like boils it she boils the water and does something I don't know so um, and she sterilizes the feeder and all of that. So the hummingbirds don't get sick, I guess. And they're active. Like I've seen, I've seen four or five here at this one. It might've been the same one. And I saw one up front, but they're very protective of the bird feeder. So if you're out here during active hours, which I don't know what that would be, but when the sun's out and everything, they've will fly up here and not attack you but just get really close to your face and make you get away from their food i guess and they fight each other for the food which is weird i don't know anything about hummingbirds but that's what they do oh here's one actually oh my goodness guys oh it just flew away maybe we can get one i don't know i'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna stand here and if one comes up to us uh i'll cut to it They're really scary. I mean, they're not. They're small, but they, their, uh, their wing flapping is, is super scary to me because it sounds like a very poison or not poisonous. It sounds like a very big bee or wasp. So they know I'm over here at the food. They're watching me, and it's very interesting. But here is some succulents my mom has. They've grown quite a bit since uh, May or whenever I was here, June. So there's the succulents. Here's some avocados. Well, here's a strawberry plant. And here is a couple avocado trees. Or maybe more, I don't know. And then I don't know what this is. There is some basil and thyme and parsley. And here is a succulent that has grown quite a bit. I think it's a succulent. That's really tall. More succulents. My mom bought all of these for 25 cents uh, sometime this year at Kroger. And she she saw them all and she said... Well, they're only 25 cents and they were discounted and I think she was afraid they were going to be thrown away. So she bought all of them. <laughs> is that crazy? Look at all of them. That's so crazy. I mean, she has those, which you already saw this, but she has those. She has these and she has some inside and some, I think, in the garage. So she likes her succulents. Now let's go down to the garden. Um... It's very beautiful here today, and I think I'm going to... Oh, it's very, very bright. Um, I think I'm going to be able to go outside tonight and look at the stars. So I'm very excited about that. It's a clear day, and um, the moon is a crescent right now, so that will be really cool. You'll be able to see, or I'll be able to see, um, you know some of the light side of it and then some of the dark side as well so it'll be interesting to check it out tonight if i can see it depending on if it gets above the trees so that might be the only issue yeah, i just would have to come out at pretty late tonight but okay let's see what my mom has over here so she has a bunch of tomato paint plants well she has those right there um she has some these are jalapenos and my mom picked a bunch of them 
but they're kind of turning red because they're getting a little ripe. But when I was out here today, uh, we picked a few of them. There's tomatoes. I mean, she has all those tomatoes. She has, look at these. I mean, they're green. She picked some red ones uh, earlier this afternoon, but that's a pretty, you know, big tomato plants. Um, she said, sorry for the mess. <laughs> She says it's messy in here, but it's just, it's uh, late in the summer, so a lot of stuff is being harvested. I don't know what these are, but they smell really good. So they're purple. My mom probably could tell me, but yeah. And she has a rose bush over there. Um, She had some squash, I think, right there, or zucchini. Oh, that's zucchini. I don't know if you can see, if you can see it, but... There's a zucchini right there. And let's see. Oh, here's something interesting. This is a lemon cucumber. So um, we're going to try it tonight. We'll see how it tastes. I bought those seeds for her a couple years ago, and she's been planting them. And I think that's everything. So she has zucchini, peppers, stuff like that. And here is something that she's very excited about. And it is a pumpkin. She's been growing it all summer. And one did grow. She has two pumpkins, but one's really small. But this one's doing really good for, you know, a home pumpkin. Here it is. Uh, can you see it? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. There it is. Oh, am I? There it is. So it's a pretty good sized pumpkin, you know? You can cut it up or eat it or make it a jack o' lantern. I don't know what she's going to do with it. I think she's going to eat it and save the seeds and just, you know, grow more pumpkins next year. But the one thing about pumpkins are is they take a lot of space, as you can see. And they need to cross pollinate, I think, to make a pumpkin. So she had a, another pumpkin planted right here so I think that's just the pumpkin it made but look at its vines that's a vine goes all the way up and it's kind of overtaking this bush right here you can see the little the flower of the pumpkin yeah pretty crazy but it's really cool I'm really happy that she got a pumpkin and what else um, here is, I think she said this was squash, but, it, oh, it's actually pumpkin. Oh yeah, it is pumpkin. Okay. So this pumpkin, I'm not an expert, but I think what she said was this pumpkin plant helped make that pumpkin grow or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but there is a small pumpkin over here. I said pumpkin like a hundred times. There is a small pumpkin over here. My mom pointed it out, but I can't find it anymore. So... Okay, here is a, let me get it out of the sun. This is so bright. I'm sorry if this video looks wonky. I'm going to show you, maybe you have this type of spider. This is a spider warning. We may not see the spider, but I'll show you its web. It's very interesting. And it makes a zigzag. I think it's just called a zigzag spider. I don't know. Um, but it's a yellow spider. It's pretty big. It's very intimidating. I don't think they're poisonous. Maybe. I don't, th I don't think they are. But it makes a zigzag in the web. And it. I think what it does is that zigzag reflects light a certain way. And it attracts bugs or flies to it. I think. So here it is. Hopefully it doesn't jump out and scare me. But it's fairly big if I do see it. But maybe you can see this web. Watch you not even be able to see it. But maybe you can see that zigzag right there. It is a huge web. And um, so it goes, oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe, maybe you can. It's right there. It's very big. And its web goes probably two feet down. And this is probably like a foot wide. I'm sure the camera's not doing its justice, but there it is. It's very cool. And if you don't see it, I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen somehow, or you can just look it up, zigzag spider. But that is my mom's garden. I love going 
and checking out her garden. It's always super fun. I love this pumpkin. That's so cool. I always love seeing pumpkins grown at the house. Um, they're just amazing. And I think it's going to get a little bit bigger probably. Um, but yeah, it's very beautiful out here. It's a sunny day in the shade. It's very cool. I would say it probably got up to 85 today, but in the morning it was probably 70. So it's very nice. It's almost a perfect night. I'm going to hopefully see some fireflies tonight. It might be a little late for that. It probably is a little late. It's September. So, but maybe it won't be. And, um, ooh, I could go spider hunting. So one of my favorite things, uh, that it, I used to do when I was a kid was spider hunt with a flashlight. So I think wolf spiders have eyes that shine back light at them, or maybe all spiders do. And you just get a flashlight at night and you just kind of point it down at the ground and you find spiders and you can really find spiders over there near the trees. I was explaining that and a bug flew in my mouth. Okay. So one of my favorite things was to go spider hunting and you could really find some big spiders over in the trees or near the trees. Really fun, really, really fun thing to do. So, but that is my mom's garden. Here's some other stuff that she's been planting. I think they're just flowers, maybe. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're just some sort of flower, daylily. But there they are. They're very beautiful. She likes flowers like that. She likes the, the purple ones as well. She'll normally plant those around the mailbox and stuff. And I don't know if there's anything else. She has another... Uh, she has another hummingbird feeder up here. And here's the here's the car. I'm going to show you the hummingbird feeder. But there's the Toyota that I drove. You know, it's actually not my favorite. The engine is real weird. It revs really weird. It's not very... Uh, I think it's just because it's a rental. I don't know. It's not very act, uh, responsive. That's the word. So let's see if we can see a hummingbird or if one's over here protecting its, its feeder. Last time I came over here, there was a huge hornet's nest. So, but yeah, there's a bird feeder right here. And I have seen two hummingbirds over here or one hummingbird, main, mainly one that has been protecting this bird feeder. And I do see it flying near me. Oh, it's checking me out. I know you can't see it, but it's up in that tree. It's on that branch. I just saw it fly by me. So it's just checking to see, am I putting more food in it? Let's see. Will it fly up? I don't know. I'll have to get some footage of uh, a hummingbird, if I haven't already, to tomorrow. So my mom has really been enjoying them. She's been taking good care of them. So, yeah, and it's also amazing that there's no other bugs around the hummingbird feeder. It's just kind of, it's just kind of, uh, the hummingbirds are the ones using it. So, oh, I just heard, I just heard a hummingbird. My mom said that there's one that sings a lot or like chirps a lot. So, yeah, but that is today. It's been a long day. We got up at whatever time we got up and now we're here and here's Emily. I'm excited to go to, to, go to bed. I got to write a one page paper tonight. Ha! One page. So it's not that bad, which is never, it's not common to write just a one page paper, but this one is like more reflective and I had to take two leadership assessments, which is where most of the work went into. Hello. Hello. I came outside to find you. Nice. Yeah. That's all. It's so nice out here. Beautiful. If you're, if you're still watching this, comment down below, hummingbird. I was sitting up on the deck under the little umbrella where your mom has the hummingbird feeder hung. Mm -hmm. And... I'm pretty sure the hummingbird almost attacked me, like flew right into my head multiple times. 
because it's like, that's mine. Like, yeah. why are you buy my food? So I had to move away because those things move so fast and their beaks are so pointy. Like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, that would really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with a hummingbird and its food. Yeah, it seems like they're very territorial or something. Because every time I've walked up to one, I see one fly by me and it goes up in a tree and just watches me. So, but yeah, that's really cool. I like watching them. And um, I think that's all for today. So we will see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. Just relaxing, being with my mom. And that is it. So I'm going to grill some food tonight and uh, put up this vlog and write a quick paper, a reflective whatever paper. And that's what I'm doing. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, everyone, here is my mom's homemade hummingbird feed or uh, homemade hummingbird nectar. Um, she doesn't buy the red stuff because it is, uh, it is poisonous. Okay. This is, I mean, she obviously knows, I mean, it's poisonous to the hummingbirds or it can be, and it's less sterile. So it can, I guess, long-term hurt the hummingbirds. So, and you know, like the red nectar you can buy in the stores, I, I guess it's red just so people can see it. So there's no real purpose for it to be in that color, but that's my mom. She makes her own uh, hummingbird nectar and it's uh, a one to four ratio. So um, a fourth cup of sugar for every cup of water or yeah. So that, that's what it is. And she boils it and then you put the sugar in and that, there you go. And she lets it cool down and then she goes outside and uh, puts it in the hummingbird feeders and the hummingbirds, which makes sense. That's why probably the hummingbirds were coming outside and, you know, checking to see if their nectar has been refill refilled. So I just thought I would show you that. I thought that was really, really cool. Thank you for watching. If no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. Have a great Thursday and Friday. Bye.